Your uh, Royal Highness, Crown Prince Philip, uh, Chairman Van Rompa, Minister of Education, uh, Pascal Smith, Chairman Pierre-Alain de Smith, dear rectors, colleagues of Leuven, of Gens, of Lyric, ladies and gentlemen, dear students. On uh, behalf of the school, I would uh, first like to thank you, Your Royal Highness, for honoring us again with your presence. And I say again, since you and uh, Princess Mathilda attended in Beijing in October last year the renewal of the school's uh, cooperation with uh, Peking University. Dean Hasperslach and I have just come back from teaching uh, our MBA program uh, in Beijing called Bimba and uh, also come back from conferring with our Chinese partner. And I'm happy to report, Your Highness, that the event which you attended not only sealed uh, uh, the renewal of our partnership, um, but also rekindled, so to speak, uh, energy and trust. And our Chinese partners, Your Highness, did not hide how impressed they were with Princess Matilda. Uh, we are honored and grateful. It is, of course, uh, also a great honor that uh, highest-ranking European statesman, uh, Mr. Van Rompuy, the chairman of the European Council of Ministers, in short, sometimes called the President of the European Union, um, agreed to address our students at this uh, academic opening. There is no lack of challenges, uh, Mr. Van Rompuy, uh, on the European scene, uh, although um, the German Constitutional Court made of today a very happy day. Um, your presence uh, here, notwithstanding all those challenges, is very supportive of the school and we are, of course, very grateful. Uh, a special welcome as well to the person whom we rightfully, I think, uh, call or minister, the Minister of Education, Pascal Smet. Thank you very much, Pascal Smet, for being here. Chairman uh, Pierre-Alain de Smet uh, accepted to be interviewed about the theme, Be International. As Gandhi said, you have to be the change you want to see in the world. This is what inspired us to be in Russia, in China, and, for example, South Africa. Mr. Desmet chairs the Belgian Employers uh, Federation, and I add that only for the foreign students. It would be difficult, ladies and gentlemen, to insist for a person to be more international than he is. And thank you very much, Pierre-Alain, for gracing this meeting with your presence. Your Royal Highness, honored guests and speakers, ladies and gentlemen, dear students, these are difficult times. We do not know whether and when we will again be able to be able to enjoy a bit of cruising, so to speak. Uh, with the guidance of the partners of the school and the board and under the watchful eye of the audit committee, this school continued to invest, notwithstanding those difficult times in people, in research, in its Brussels campus, in uh, revamping some of its systems, and yes, in rebranding. I will leave that subject for Dean Hasbeslach to explore. A bit of history before I turn to my dean. Our name, Vlerik Leuven Gent Management School, reflects the merger of the business school activities of the two leading Flemish universities, those in Ghent and Leuven. Education, ladies and gentlemen, is a regional, in our case Flemish, matter. Uh, and I add that for foreign students who may not be fully familiar with the finer points of the Belgian constitution. 
at least not yet. The name, uh, Vleeg Leuvergemt at that time, was seen by the economist, of course, the UK-based uh, uh, weekly paper, as, and I quote, rather ungainly, a sort of Churchillian way of putting it. Ungainly, ladies and gentlemen, I read, means lacking grace, clumsy, klutzy, and awkward. I have it right from the dictionary. Uh, so the disappearance, and only in the name, of course, of the reference to Leuven and Ghent, is merely a reflection of reality. After all, we are also operating in St. Petersburg and Beijing, and uh, we have about 40% of our degree students over there. And we also operate in plenty of other places in the world, for example, with our customized uh, programs. Soon, with our Brussels campus, we will literally be present in the heart of Europe. This change also symbolizes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that our two parent universities do not require that reference to Ghent and Leuven anymore. Simply that Vlerik is their business school. We see this as a sign of their confidence in the school and reflecting the trust which was built during all those years. Let me also use this opportunity to express the school's gratitude to the past and present leadership of our two parent universities, and in particular, um, our two rectors present today, Magbaar, Rector K.U. Leuven, and Paul van Kallenbergen, Rector Ugent. Gratitude, ladies and gentlemen, for their vision and their willingness to invest in the school and to respect its independence and its international mission. Rigorous, relevant, without meddling. Thank you, rectors. This is in part, at least, the reason for our governance in, in some of the international accreditation bodies, uh, uh, body audit reports, uh, for our governance being seen as uh, world class. Their words, not mine. The rebranding of the school reflects all this. But rebranding, investments, indeed the presence uh, of most uh, eminent guests today, and the enormous support of our corporate partners, whose logos should be on the screen, uh, should now eclipse the main course of our gathering, our students, whom we selected, we like to think, from the best and the brightest around. This day, and graduation day, dear students, above all else, are you there? So, on behalf of the school, of the board, of our general council, welcome to the school. Your academic dean, Dirk, Professor Dirk Burns, will address you specifically, and it befalls the academic leader of the school to open what is your academic year. Your Royal Highness, Chairman Marumpa, Minister Smet, Chairman Smet, Honored guests and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, dear students, uh, thank you again for honoring the school with your presence and for your attention and invite you now to watch a bit of a short slideshow about the milestones of the school. Thank you.